Hello, Cisco Global Problem Solvers. This is John Bates back with the video that we promised you, breaking down the Project VBay 90 second pitch video. So uh, this is gonna give you some insights into why the judges thought this was such a great 90 second video and why Project VBay won the first ever Cisco Global Problem Solver Challenge in 2017. So here we go. First of all, right off the bat, you'll see it says Project Vive, and at the bottom it says patented technology. Now, that's good because it lets us know that this has made it beyond just the idea stage. They've actually got a patent, which means they must have really thought about this. They've done more work than just saying, oh, hey, I have a great idea. So that's good. And here we go. All right, first off, there's the problem statement. We now know what the problem is. 4.5 million people have the form of cerebral palsy or ALS that results in the inability to speak. Okay. It's a lot of people. That's something that would be a really tough thing to deal with. Now we see some very emotional images and video of that, what that actually looks like. And then here's the second part of the problem. The cost for modern speech devices is too much for millions of people. Now, we're gonna hear from the founder. I want you to notice how this makes you feel. I want you to notice how quickly she does this and how connected she immediately makes us as listeners to the problem. I worked with children and adults in an orphanage in Ecuador who didn't have the ability to communicate. And from this, I set out to create the Vox Box, an affordable speech generation device that allows people with disabilities to have their voices heard. So that was really great. Very, very short, very emotional. We saw some still images of you know, what she saw in, in her process of coming up with this product. And now what's starting on the screen right here is a very clear, very well done, quick animation that shows how this thing works. Now, remember the number one problem with most pitches is that they're not clear. I know it sounds crazy, but that's true. So the good news about this is it's very clear, it makes it very obvious how the product works, gives us more confidence that this is well thought out, that it's already functioning, that it's beyond just the idea stage. So check this out. This box system uses wearable V-Day sensors that are customizable to the user's specific movements. This includes pressing of a finger, flexing of a finger, wrist movement, elbow movement, knee movement, pressing of a toe, and even the blink of an eye. The movements are used to make selections for menus the user sees or hears, allowing them to construct words, ideas, and even literary works. In this example, the user simply presses their finger to make selections. Okay, and now we see that at 70 years old, Arlen used the vase box to share her poetry for the very first time. Wow, that's emotionally connected right there. And here's a quick little glimpse of what that looks like. The device I am using is called the vase box. Okay, so now we go back to talk about the problem. And I want you to notice the very interesting twist on the solution. It always was and always will be a part of our world. The Vosbox would be able to empower this untapped population of natural problem solvers and potential entrepreneurs. What would the world look like if people with disabilities could participate, advocate, and take advantage of the opportunities in our digital economy? The time to give a voice is now. Great call to action there at the end as well. Now notice what an interesting twist on the solution. Not only do we get to be a part of something that's gonna give people who have never had the opportunity to have a voice, a voice, and we could do that now. So we get to be the heroes along with Project Vive if we invest or if we assist with this project. But the other thing that I think is really brilliant about this is it's not just about making a difference for those people. It's about the difference they could make for everyone once they're empowered. I think that's a really brilliant twist to that. So overall, very, very well done. Now, a couple of things just because, you know, it's nice to point out what could have been better, right? I believe that the dialogue parts were a little bit quiet. When the founder was speaking, she was a little bit quiet. 
And I would punch that audio up just a little bit and make it very, very easy to hear because those are some very crucial, important pieces and they were a little bit hard to hear. Now, the other thing that's interesting is we have not yet heard anything about the market opportunity and the amount of money that they're going to make and how they're going to become profitable and all that. But we get the sense that this is real. We are very emotionally connected to this after this quick 90 second piece. And so as judges, I think people are going to want to dig right into the application, find that stuff. And, you know, the goal of this 90 second video, now it's 90 seconds, you can't go over, right? It's only 90 seconds. This one was perfectly 90 seconds. The goal here is not to tell us everything. You cannot tell us everything in 90 seconds. The real goal is to tell us enough to make us believe that you are real enough and connect us emotionally enough that we want to go dig into your application. So really great job. Now, we said we were going to give you this uh, breakdown of this video uh, as, as a bonus. We also are going to give you a breakdown of the Care NX video that won this past competition, the most recent global problem solver competition. So stay tuned for that. That's up next.